If we talk about the applications of Newton's ring, using the method of routine Newton's ring, the wavelength of a given monochromatic source can be determined. The radius of nth dark ring and n plus nth dark ring can be given. From these, we are able to identify Rn square is equal to nr lambda. So that Rn square n plus m is equal to n plus m r lambda. So subtracting both the equation, you will be getting R n plus m square minus R n square is equal to n into R lambda plus m into R lambda minus n r lambda you will be getting r n plus m square minus r n square is equal to m r lambda which is nothing but lambda is equal to r n plus m square minus r n square divided by m r still moving further using newton's ring the refractive index of a liquid can be calculated let lambda a and lambda m represent the wavelength of light in air and also in medium that's liquid if rn is the radius of the nth dark ring in air and rn is the radius of the nth dark ring in liquid rn dash so you'll be getting rn square is equal to nr lambda a Whereas r dash n square is equal to n into r lambda m, which is nothing but lambda a divided by mu. As mu is equal to lambda a divided by lambda m, the refractive index is equal to the wavelength of the air medium divided by the wavelength of your exact medium, which indicates mu is equal to r n square divided by r dash n square. This provides the refractive index of a liquid.